Do you want to have an ATM card that you can use to withdraw money or to pay for your shopping expenses or groceries or maybe to pay your other bills? If your answer is yes, then let me show you this BDO cash card. So what is this BDO cash card? This is a reloadable prepaid electronic debit card and it has no maintaining balance and it's not considered as a deposit account. And even if it's not a deposit account, you can use it as an ATM where you can withdraw money, check your balance, and all the other features of having an ATM. Let me show you the other features and uses of this BDO cash card. So as you can see, as an ATM, you can change PIN, you can inquire balance, you can withdraw cash, you can reload cash card, you can load prepaid mobile phone, you can pay your bills. You can also use this to pay for purchases like when you're shopping. You can use this or you can enroll this BDO cash card to internet banking, phone banking, mobile banking, and you can also use this when you want to inquire your balance at the PDO branch or if you want to reload the cash card. There are three types of PDO cash card. The first one is the generic or the retail pre-embossed cash card. So it's the one without the name on the card. And the other two are personalized retail embossed cash card and the corporate embossed cash card with your name in front of the card. So how can you avail of this BDO cash card? It's very simple. You just have to go to the branch and apply for the BDO cash card. Ask for the BDO cash card application form and just fill it out with your information. So what are the requirements? I called the BDO hotline earlier at 631-8000 and they told me that people from 7 years old and above can actually apply for this BDO cash card. So for minors from 17 years old to 7 years old, you might have to apply with a guardian and uh, bring a valid ID, a government issued ID. But for minors, if you don't have any valid ID, you probably can bring your student ID or a copy of your birth certificate. Just bring the original copy just to make sure. The cash card fee is 120 pesos. So it's the same for the generic and for the personalized card. So how many banking days will it take before I could get my BDO cash card? For generic cards, those without the name, you can get it immediately or within the same day if the branch or the bank where you apply for the cash card has available cards. But for personalized cards, you can get it after 5 to 7 banking days. You can get it probably earlier, but just to be safe, it's 5 to 7 banking days. Okay, for the activation, all you need to do is to deposit or reload at least 100 pesos. And you can do that uh, the same day when you apply for your BDO cash card. So you have to pay for 120 pesos for the card and just reload or deposit 100 pesos for the activation of your BDO cash card. Okay, so how do you reload a BDO cash card? You can go to the nearest BDO branch, just fill out the card, sale or reload slip via ATM, internet banking, mobile internet banking, phone banking, or mobile banking. So what is the maximum limit for each BDO cash card type? For pre-embossed, that's 10,000 pesos. For retail embossed, that's 25,000 pesos. And for corporate embossed, that's 100,000 pesos. And what are the minimum and maximum reloading amounts for BDO cash card? The minimum amount that you can reload for your BDO cash card is 100 pesos. And the maximum is uh, based on this uh, information that I showed you earlier. Okay, for deposit, you can deposit through BDO over the counter. The fee is 15 pesos regardless of the amount and location. So if you're going to deposit to a friend's BDO cash card in the province, you still have to pay 15 pesos over the counter for that deposit. You can also deposit money to a BDO cash card through BDO Cash Accept Machine. So there are BDO Cash Accept Machines in uh, selected areas and it's free of charge. I'll share with you a link at the description box below where you can find the locations of these BDO Cash Accept Machines. Now let's move to withdrawal. If you want to withdraw money through a BDO ATM machine, 
the fee is 2 pesos. And if you want to withdraw through non-BDO ATM machines, the fee is higher at 11 pesos. And uh, there is no over-the-counter withdrawal. So you cannot withdraw money from your BDO cash card over-the-counter even if it's at BDO. In terms of online banking, you can enroll your BDO cash card and link it to your existing BDO savings account. But you cannot enroll your BDO cash card if you don't have an existing savings account. In terms of fund transfer, yes, you can transfer funds from your savings account to your cash card. And yes, you can transfer funds from your cash card to your savings only if the name is the same. So if the name is not the same or if you want to transfer from your cash card to another person's account, then you cannot do that through online banking. In terms of remittance, yes, you can remit or send money from abroad to your BDO cash card here in the Philippines, but you have to send that money in remittance centers that are affiliated with BDO. And by the way, the BDO cash card account number is the 16-digit card number found on the card itself. And in terms of PayPal, according to the representative that I talked to earlier, she said that they are not in partnership with PayPal yet. They don't have any partnerships, so they might not be able, or you might not be able to link your BDO cash card to your PayPal account. So what if the card is captured by the machine or the ATM machine? For generic card, or if you don't have the name on the card, there would be no return. So they cannot return your card anymore. And if you want to have another one, then you have to reapply and pay 120 pesos again for the new card and uh, deposit 100 pesos for the activation. For a personalized card, on the other hand, or that one with your name on it, you can still have it if there is a name and signature. So here's a tip. As soon as you get your personalized card, make sure that you affix your signature immediately. Does BDO cash card earn interest? The answer is no. Why? Because the BDO cash card is not a deposit account and it's not insured with Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation or BDIC. When is a cash card considered dormant? A cash card shall be considered dormant and shall be subject to monthly maintenance fee if there is no financial activity depending on the type of card. So for generic card, 180 days of no financial activity, it will be considered as dormant. For personalized card, 360 days or almost a year, yeah, a year of no financial activity, it will be considered as dormant. But don't worry because you can reactivate a dormant card by just reloading it or by making a withdrawal and some of the other services or transactions that you can do with your card. So it's very easy. You don't need to get a new one. You just have to have a financial transaction. How are lost, damaged, or stolen cards handled? For retail cards, you can have a card replacement at the PDO branch where you applied for that cash card but it's subject to personal identification of the card holder. For corporate card, the replacement is done through the card holder's employer or company. So what is the number to call in case of problems or complaints with your BDO cash card? You can contact the BDO Customer Contact Center or BDO Hotline at 631-8000. They also have domestic and international toll-free numbers which you can find here all right that's all for this video cash card i hope you find this helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel